This is my first time coming to one of these events right here in Seattle. It's a call out to all natives in the region to come and and partake in in the prayer ceremonies that we share and and gather and share those stories. I don't know how to put in words how this makes me feel. It's like something you only see on TV. And then when it hits your family, it's so unreal. Because like this woman said back here, it's really unreal because you don't know what it's like until it happens to you, until it happens to one of your family members. It's so unreal. We walk around every day knowing that this isn't going to happen to us. We walk around every day thinking that my kids are okay. We know where they're at. We miss her dearly. And we just want her to come home. My name is Eli Nelson. I'm here today because of my niece, Kaylee May Nelson. My niece has been missing for five years. She left home and she was gonna meet someone at the end of the road at the church and never made it. I didn't want to go to the court because I really told really detailed about what happened. <laughs> These things are really heavy and it really triggers me when I have to go back to the beginning. Preston told, told federal agents during a series of interviews that he snapped and he struck Begay in the face multiple times, causing her to bleed from the nose and mouth. <laughs> he told authorities that he wasn't sure if she was dead when she drove away and that he really regret hitting her. Every day. There is something happening to our people, and this is where we have a voice to speak on it together and pray together as, and be unified together and help with that search of our loved ones. You know, I think that there's, um, that's why we're doing this, is because there's not enough light shed on, on this. Um, that's why we gather. That's why the numbers that you see here today, that's why we come in numbers so we could spread that awareness thicker and stronger and, and unify in that and spread that message louder and bigger today than we ever have before. And it's only gonna get louder and it's only gonna get bigger. And the awareness is gonna hopefully spread to these loved ones that are, that are lost out there.